Hi guys, Dr. YouTube, Timothy Tucker here. How you guys doing? I'm gonna bring you a little thing on 911, all right? Uh, when you call 911, if, if you're calling, if you're getting this video right now and you need to call 911, go find a phone and someone that's straight, if you're at a party or whatever, that can call 911 and tell them what's happening. But anyways, when you call 911, I'm a pilot, I, I fly, these right now, they're a sports drone that uh, that uh, races. You race with them, but uh, this one's uh, actually too fast for me, so I really can't fly it right now. But yeah, uh, when this is what they'll do to your finger if you can't. Uh, you don't call 911 for that. <laughs> you get a band aid and you don't do it again. But uh, about 911, guys, call 911. Uh, that's why I'm doing this video because of the stuff in California and different reasons. But uh, when you call 911, make sure that whoever's talking to the emergency person uh, knows what they're talking about. You know, uh, the situation that has gone on. Has someone got shot? Is someone dying? Is it a medical condition? Uh, is there an enemy that could hurt them worse in the area? Is the shooter active? Uh, you need to find the person that, you know, you can get on the phone and uh, talk to the operator so they can uh, cut out. So give you the best assistance, you know. But, uh, yeah, make sure that when you call 9-1, it's someone that knows what's going on. Then they're not all huh, huh, freaking out, not knowing what to tell the person on the other side. And it, and it wastes valuable time if someone's hurt. Cut it out. All right? So uh, don't call 911. Get a band aid for that. But in emergency situation, make sure that someone that's on that line is out. Uh, you know, can tell exactly what happens. That's my short video on what to do when you call 911.